Hello guys, welcome to Data Hacks. In this video, we are going to learn about use memo. So let's learn how to use use memo. The fundamental idea with use memo is that it allows us to remember the computed values between renders, which means it will catch the result of the function or component. The main thing that React does is keep our UI in sync with our application state. The tool that is used to achieve this process is known as a re-render. So here the UI will be depend on our application state. To achieve this, the re-render is a tool which guide the state and UI. Next. Each re-render is like a snapshot of what application UI should look like at that given moment in a time based on current application state. Next, we are going to see the some advantages of use memo. First, it has the memoized value. Memoized value is nothing but it will not it will not re-render or run the function again and again if we have the same value. The minimize value is nothing but it will catch the value and if the value is repeated again then it will not trigger the function or component. Next we are going to see about the performance. So the performance is enhanced by reducing the re number of re-renders by using memoized value so we already see the memoized value will not allow the re-rendering with the same value so next we are going to see about the dependency so in use memo we will have the dependency to trigger the use memo function or set of instruction within the use memo hook so if the dependency has been updated then also it will trigger the use memo so let's start the practical demonstration of use memo so let's start the practical demonstration for use memo first i'm going to create a two buttons so for this i'm going to remove this one and provide the fragments and here I am going to provide two buttons button and provide here button and paste here so here I am going to create a use state to update the values use state so here let's create the values Let value 1 set value use state initial value is going to be 0 in the same way, I am going to create second value, second, two, this one is one. So here, I am going to provide value one, value one. In the same way, in the second button, I am going to provide value two and on click I'm going to create a function update value 1 so let's create the function constant and arrow function here I'm going to set the value 1 uh, within this also I am going to provide arrow function 
to get the previous value data and here data plus one so here i am going to copy the value and paste it again and i am going to change to the update value two this is going to be happen here and here i am going to remove the set value 12 as a 2 and let's copy this on click function and provide in the button change to 2 so now we have the values to update right so instead of this let's trigger the nextjs application we can wait for a few seconds in index page we can see the values here you can see two values so here it's only provide a zero so come to here and close the terminal here value one the same way I'm going to provide here value 2 if we go to the front end you can see here so if we click here the value has been updated each time and here also the value has been updated each time so next this is how it will happen normally so till now we have seen how the values are updating next i am going to provide another div tag and i am going to place them here and inside div tag i am going to copy the button and place here for this button also i am going to provide another div tag div tag so copy this one and place it here here I'm going to create a span span and inside here I'm going to provide one function is even or not is even means it will provide even otherwise it will provide odd so this function will check the value has has even value or odd value so in this event we have to provide the braces and let's create the new function constant even is even so let's provide the arrow function for this within this even here I am going to provide return value 1 divided by 2 equal to 0 then it is known as is even so here each time when we update the values here this function will be triggered and check if the value value 1 is even it divide by the 2 and if equal to 0 it re-render as even if it is not equal to 0 re-render as a odd so let's go again refresh here so after updating 1 you can see here the 1 become odd 2 even so in the meantime next i am going to create a variable called i with a value of 0 and provide condition while with i should be less than 2 9 times a 0 so if the condition is satisfied we have to increment the i value so let's check now so if i am going to trigger the i value you can see the value has been not updated for very long time it takes very long time to update you can see here 
so if i click again we can wait for a few seconds it will update after very long time so because of the condition we have provided here okay if we click value 2 also it take it will take more number of time because of the condition because here we have update value within this update value we have a state so if the state has been updated the whole component will be re-rendered at this time this is even also triggered and it will re-render the process will take some more time so if we have a complex operation it will take more time like this so we have to overcome this problem for this only we are going to use use memo to overcome this so i'm going to provide use memo and here and provide here use memo inside use memo we have to copy this one and paste it inside so if we go to the front end okay we have to move this to here and refresh the page so we are facing few errors so let's check first of all we are facing error due to this parenthesis and here use memo we have to provide dependency we have forgot to provide so the value we have to provide inside is the value one each time the value one is changing it's uh, we can update the function or run the function this use memo will trigger the function and provide the result after the value one has been updated so now let's check if we click the value 1 it take a long time to update it has updated but if we click value 2 now we have the values in a fraction of second it does not affect the value 2 so this is how the use memo has been worked we have reached the final part of this video Please provide your thoughts about use memo in comment section. I will provide my help if you need. So hit the like button if you like this video and the subscribe button you will get the updates regularly. Thank you for watching this video.